Have you ever browsed Thingiverse and you see like a bunch of the same stuff over and over again, like uh, vases, uh, a different kind of vase, spinners, god, spinners, just all kinds of stuff that all seems very similar. Well, I think that's kind of funny, so I'm going to make a, a tutorial series showing you how to make these things. So, let's begin. We're going to start off with the spiral vase first. Uh, open up Fusion 360, like this. Make sure your timeline is enabled down here. And then, go to Create and co Coil. We're going to use Coil. Start it off on this bottom plane. And drag your circle out. Click and drag. Or click and then drag. Uh, what's a good size for a vase? 150. There we go. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. There are... Most of these parameters you can change to your liking, but there are some that you should definitely use for this tutorial, or main rather they're required to be used you want for section you want triangle external section position should be inside section size is irrelevant but I keep it small just to make this to, uh, design easier I'm going to put it at 10 revolutions you can leave a 1 now but we'll probably want to change that later and height can be whatever you want uh, how high should this piece of shit be Let's also make it 150 high. All right, and okay. So I have this coil. It looks kind of like a thread, but there's no inside, just the thread. And we're gonna ignore this for now. Next, we want to create a sketch on the same plane we made that coil, the bottom. This is going to be the bottom of our vase. So we have to use a polygon because you know it can't be anything original and we want it to be the same diameter as our coil. So uh, that's half the size so our coil is 150 this should be 75 there we go and it didn't make it 75 so let's Press D for dimension and do it. There we go. All right. That looks good. Need to make one more sketch. Come down and make it on this back plane. And we want this sketch to just be a line that goes straight up from the origin and ends somewhere. We want this line to end the same height where this ends right here. To do that we're gonna project this point on the very tip of our coil. I'm gonna press P, get the project tool, project that garbage, turn off our coil for now. And in order to make this and this the same height Go to the sketch palette, select horizontal vertical, and then just click those two points. Yeah, I got it. Cool, cool. Alright, yeah, cool. Okay. Stop the sketch. And now we have everything we need to make this vase. We're going to make it with a sweep command under create. Under Type select path plus guide rail. For the profile, select the hexagon path. Select the vertical line you made. And for guide rail, select the outside points of our coil. Set it to new body instead of cut. And there you go. You can see the beginnings of this face. Click OK. I'm going to turn off our coil so we can't see it. And there we go. To actually give it an inside, we come up to modify, click shell, click 
like the top face. Enter how many, how thick we want the walls to be. Uh, five millimeters is probably good. There we go. It's kind of funky on the inside. I think this spins too much. So to change that, I'm going to come down to our timeline and edit my coil feature right down here. Right click, edit feature. And I'm going to turn down the revolutions to uh, 0 0.25, one quarter of a revolution. And there we go. We can also edit other parts of this coil. We can make it lean out, go higher. Uh, let's go shorter, actually. There we go, now we have a uh, terrible guacamole dish. Uh, let's undo that. And then now you can just keep tweaking these features until it looks the way you want. You can make it thicker or thinner. Let's make it thinner. You can even make it come up like a cone by giving this a negative Ang uh, angle measurement, negative 20. And there it gets thinner. It's like a volcano. Anyway, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you followed along, please upload whatever you made to Thingiverse to uh, clog up the site more because that's funny to me. Give me a nice giggle. And if you have any requests for tutorials, serious or otherwise, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.